This has to be one of the most overpowered creatures right now, and I feel like many people are overlooking it. But can you blame us? To many players, these stats look pretty average. But I bet I can change your mind in just 5 minutes. For example, just take a look at that creature right there. It's flying, usually you would not be able to get it because you're a tier 4 and you can't jump. But take a look at this. This one can jump! And it has wing shredder, which means you literally disable someone's ability to fly. This is insane. Look at how fast you went down. And this is only scratching the surface of this creature. And I want you to keep this in mind for later. It is quite slow right now in the water. But there's a trick which makes you super fast. Oh, I love that this thing can reach its whole place on the map. This is amazing. You guys can see my prey and I'm about to make my next point. Oh, hello, Coravox. Hello. You can see my next point. Look at the bite cooldown. That is mad. He cannot fly anymore. And he has so much ailments. And this thing has breath. This thing has breath. Do you know how insane that is? I, in my opinion, this might be one of the strongest creatures out there. Even though I don't have stamina, I should have waited. So that's the normal bite cooldown, which basically means you can bite so much faster. And the insane thing about this is that it does three bleed and one poison attack. So you get bleed and poison just to be bitten by one. But that's not all. If you bite this thing in return, you get bleed and poison as well, which is even more insane. Look at them. They're just standing here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's AFK. Oh, poor dude. Poor dude. Can't fly. Can't fly, you're dead. You're literally- you couldn't do anything. This is amazing. I love this creature so much. Look at them, they're dead as well. This went so quickly. I bet we could even jump towards that creature right there and take it down. I bet we can. I actually bet we can. Ah! No! Bleed, poison, breath, serrated teeth, wing shredder. What else do you want in a creature? And this is not even what makes it OP. This is just scraping the surface. Would you reckon I can take down the guard like this? If I can't, that's alright as well, but I really just want to see. I really want to see if I can. Uh, probably not, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> now, you might have seen the Garticus, like, move left and right. That's because of an ability called Defensive Paralyze. So if they bite you, they can't control the creature normally. And you might have seen this creature bite really quickly during the T-Rex fight as well. Now, we're gonna exploit this because we can use Pig Lantern Plushies. This means that we can get burn on top of the bleed and poison. So you're stacking three ailments every single time you bite someone. Now, you can go for two of them or something that I like as well is getting another cat plushie because you have serrated teeth. With serrated teeth, bleed heals a lot slower. But not gonna lie, let's just go for another pick lantern for now. Oh, and look at that. We spawned at a lovely place. This is great. This is great. We can try and get it again. We can try and get it again. Oh, this might actually be possible. This might actually be possible. At least if we're fast. If we're fast. Come on. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Oh, it's turning. Not good. Not good. Oh, run. Use the fire's breath. Why can I not use breath? That's so weird. Oh, it's, it is working. This thing starts to attack us as well. <laughs> That's a dumb mistake. That's a very dumb mistake. Dude, that Garticus does not stand a chance. He will have to heal eventually. Oh, but injury is getting to me. Injury is definitely getting to- Oh, no! Oh, he died as well! Yes! <laughs> so worth it! So you can take a Garticus down with two Pig Lantern plushies. But we're gonna spice it up even more. Because there's a thing called Jemmy Slug. And on top of that, we have the Swan plushie. Oh, look, I spawned next to a creature. Let me kill this one real quick. Hello, how you doing? Now you can't fly. Now you die. Goodbye. Goodbye, face tank. There you go, and gone. Now, remember when I said this earlier on in the video? And I want you to keep this in mind for later. It is quite slow right now in the water, but there's a trick which makes you super fast. Well, here we are. Now, it kind of looks like the Swamp Plushie only disables stamina regen, but there's a trick to this plushie that not a lot of people know of. If you get close to the water and you use Ambush right before it, you go so fast, it's absolutely... Dude, look at how fast we're going. This is insane. Look at the comparison. If that's not fast to me, I don't know what fast is. If, if you want to traverse the water quickly, just use the Swamp Plushie on this thing and you become even more deadly than before, both in the sky, in the sea, and on the land. Plus, I haven't even shown you what the Jemmy Slug Plushie does. Now, every single creature has a abilities. For my creature, for example, it's Breath and Ambush. If I go and attack this creature right now, which uh, he can't escape because I lich- Oh, he 
is escaping. That's not. I am fast into the water too, little crab. Now, if he attacks me, his screen will go purple and all his abilities are literally disabled. You saw this earlier when I attacked the Jiggle Jangle. Dude, I love how fast we are in the water. This is great. This is so much better. And he died. It's just mad to me that you can completely disable someone's ability just by adding that plushie. And it's so insane what this creature can do. I really hope this helped you out. If you want to help me out in return, feel free to subscribe. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers. Anyways, see you around.